talk a little weather right now, and uh, we've been seeing lightning strikes all morning. How long is that going to last, Kelly? You know, we are back under another round here going into our next hour or so. So we're still not out of the woods yet with this active weather. Do you want to share a couple of uh, shots here from our coin tower camera capturing uh, those lightning strikes early this morning during our 4 and 5 o'clock hour? Uh, we saw a couple of thunderstorms in the vicinity of Portland, mostly out in the hills of Clark County and moving through the hills of uh, northwest Oregon there out in Columbia County. County, but uh, most of these lightning strikes seem to be cloud to cloud strikes. Uh, it's the cloud to ground strikes that are very dangerous, and we still have that chance to see those lightning strikes out there today in these storms, mainly across our morning hours. So you want to be extra careful, and if you are stuck under a thunderstorm, you'll know because you'll be in torrential downpour. You want to find shelter and head inside uh, because, again, lightning is uh, likely in these storms out there. So here's a peek out from the coin tower. Not tracking much right now. We are sitting at 53 degrees, also out to Vancouver. Getting a lot of rain moving in right now, uh, looking out towards uh, the east over the river there. Uh, you can t typically see Mount Hood from this view, but uh, we are a little uh, socked in by that rain and those showers shifting in now. But notice a lot of these storms are isolated. So we are seeing some nicer conditions down the valley where we're not getting as much activity, even some sunshine to kick off our morning down the valley. The coastline also has seen quite a quiet morning too. Temperatures around the area, mainly in the 40s to low 50s. This is light jacket weather and we will see a cooler afternoon after yesterday's day in the mid 70s. We're back in the 60s heading into today. But here's a look at the radar and we are tracking a nice heavy downpour scooting right into Vancouver right now. Again, this is just towards the uh, north of uh, Portland and the metro area, but lightning strikes out there too. So in the hills of Clark County, uh, some heavy downpours and a storm now shifting on in. So be careful of that lightning. Also tracking a storm just outside of Estacada near Sandy and the foothills of uh, Clackamas County there. Storm now shifting out towards the west and will likely soon be over I-205. So downpour is expected within the next maybe 30 minutes out there. If you're driving, be careful on those roadways. Some of that rain uh, may pond on some of the roadways out there and uh, give some uh, some harder to, to see conditions. Visibility may be dropped in some of those heavier showers. So be careful again. We're still seeing this patch of storms setting up right over the Cascades and shifting down into the valley. Sometimes the Cascades and the terrain can help to break apart some of these storms, but they're still holding strength and shifting towards the east. So again, we'll watch out for a few more rounds of storms over the next couple of hours here in the area as we move into our morning. And the reason is still this low system that has been churning away down in in central California still sending us that wrap around moisture. Nice big surge of moisture this morning, causing all that lightning out there. Uh, so again, storms in the forecast this morning. Again, they may hold lightning, heavy downpours and small hail. Uh, now take a quick look here at our future cast. This model still brings in those showers again. I do think we start to quiet things down maybe after nine o'clock, but this model has those storms throughout the next several hours here in Portland before that moisture shifts out towards the west and out the door. We'll likely still see a few showers through lunchtime today, and some could even be quite heavy. So you'll want the rain jacket for the first half of today. We finally start to dry out as we work our way into the afternoon. The showers work out the door and the region quiets down and dries out. So I do see some time later today uh, in the afternoon where we'll get some better moments to get back outside uh, as we dry out. But uh, looking forward into Friday and our weekend, we still have this trough of low pressure uh, sitting right over the area. So cold Colder air rolling in and just sitting. And with that, we will keep temperatures likely in the 50s and the 60s, slightly below normal. So a cooler and showery pattern setting up. We'll keep off and on showers in place through the weekend. I still see some dry pockets in there too. So we will see some nice moments to be outside over the weekend. But do prep to see showers and those temperatures hovering in the upper 50s to low 60s. All right. Thanks, Kelly.